What's going on guys? I wanted to hop on here today and do another video for y'all. So spring's just around the corner. Water temps are about to start rising. I want to talk about amberjack fishing and topwater amberjack fishing um, is really what we're going to focus on here. So I just wanted to go over a few of the different topwaters that I like to use for AJs. And honestly, these AJs show up early. I mean, you can catch these AJs at the, at the end of April. I mean, they're off our coast all winter, but they're coming inside 20 miles about the end of April, beginning of May, depending upon water temperatures. Um, but if you've never gone out and targeted these AJs on, uh, on top water, it is definitely something you need to do. Um, I try to do a lot of trips for that in the summer. So if you're interested, you can hit me up. Um, but hopefully this video, if you're going to go do it yourself, will help you out as well. Um, so there's really, the big thing is um, attracting those AJs up to the boat. So there's a couple different ways to do it. Um, I would say three in particular. And the first one that I'll do, that I'll try, is when I get out there, all I'll do is throw top water. Just big, loud top water action on the surface. Sometimes it takes one minute for the fish to come up, sometimes it takes 15 minutes. Um, once they come up and you hook one, uh, it's kind of game on. The fish will go down, you'll fight him, bring him back to the boat, he'll bring some buddies, and you kind of keep him beside the boat until your next buddy hooks one, and just keep that rotation going. Uh, if they're not just gonna come up right off the bat for top water, the next step that I'll do uh, is drop bucktail curly tail jigs or flashy you know like kind of uh vertical jigging jigs but the bucktail jigs honestly i seem to do better on them near shore with the bucktails than with you know any type of heavy metal flashy jig and so what i'll do is kind of the same deal you're trying to either bring them up to the boat with the jig or hook one fight it bring it back up so you can get them on top water uh, and then the the third way that i'll do is uh, i'll start kind of stunning some so like medium-sized pogies and pitching them off and so they'll kind of stay up near the surface and so I'm live chumming with those sometimes I'll cut some of them up too and throw them out and I'm throwing the top water around in that and a lot of times between the two of those going on you'll attract those fish up there they're usually not that hard to bring up to the boat um, on these artificial reefs and these wrecks but when they are it's nice to have a few different ways to try um, before you give up on them so the, the popper that I've found to be the best and the easiest access for me to get here locally in town are these big Halco poppers. Um, what happens when you get out in the ocean is it can be a little bumpy, a little swelly, and normal poppers or top waters can slip really bad on the surface. These Halco plugs have really, really cupped faces, and uh, that allows them to just grab a lot of water, throw a lot of water, make a big splash, make a lot of noise, and it keeps them from really slipping much on the surface uh, when, you're, when you're targeting these fish in kind of choppier conditions. Uh, the hooks that come on these are great, very strong. And each year I'll just kind of, uh, I think this is like my se second year on most of these plugs, um, I'll sand them down a little bit, or not sand them, but I'll take a file and, and get that little bit of rust off of there and clean the plug up and it's good to go. Um, I got a few different colors. I usually have, you know, a box or two of these, and it's not uncommon to get, these are, these are a little expensive, but as far as like big offshore poppers go, they're the best priced in my opinion. Um, and you will lose some of these. These fish are strong. If you don't put the, put the heat to them, they're gonna get you down in the structure and on the racks and break you off. Um, and then this orca popper is, or not popper, but top water walk the dog style plug is a great one if it's really calm and they're not quite loving the aggression of the big pops. One of these bigger walk the dog style baits. These are kind of designed for tuna um, and other, other fish like that. I think a lot of the guys, I don't do, do any tuna topwater fishing. I wish I had the access to do that um, on the regular, but I, I don't. So this is kind of my slicker conditions. If they're not committing to a big popper, I'll fish something like this. So the other third option is, uh, it's a cheaper option and it works really well. It's, it's called a paradise popper. It's a type of popping cork. And what I'll do with that is, you know, if I'm, if I'm hooking a lot of bigger fish or I, I don't have any, I don't want to lose any plugs, what I'll do is I'll, is I'll put a uh, split ring on the back of that popping cork and I'll hang a treble off the back of that. They pop really, really well. Um, and those fish will eat them fine. They're more, more than likely um, eating that top water out of aggression, not because it really looks like a bait fish, but it just, it, those bright colors will trigger them. But, I've caught a lot of fish on a popping cork with a treble rigged off the back of it. So um, if you don't want to spend all the money on these top waters, you can take your old popping corks, or even if you go buy new popping corks, it's four bucks for one of those paradise poppers, I believe, and, and you can rig it up that way and, uh, and save a little money and still get really good action on top water. If you want to get crazy, you can actually paint those top water, or you can paint those popping corks as well, color them up to look a little bit more like a fish. But 
Well, I just wanted to share these couple of top waters with y'all that I like to use for amber jacks. If you want to get out this spring or any spring or summer and go target these, uh, these amber jacks, please let me know. I'd love to get out there with you. Um, if you enjoyed this video, uh, you can press that thumbs up, that like button. If you, if you really like it, you can subscribe to the channel. And if you have any comments, you can leave them here on YouTube. Uh, you can head over to Facebook or Instagram and, and hit me up as well. But I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.